हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल आई एम बैक विन अनदर अमेजिंग इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन सो दिस क्वेश्चन वाज आस्क्ड बाय अ पर्सन इन माय लिंक्डइन कनेक्शंस एंड ही आस्क्ड मी दिस क्वेश्चन एंड दिस क्वेश्चन वाज गिवन एज अ होम असाइनमेंट सो लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड द क्वेश्चन एंड अंडरस्टैंड द चैलेंजेस एंड देन वी विल सॉल्व इट सो हियर इज द क्वेश्चन सो दिस इज माय इनपुट टेबल एंड देयर अ बंच ऑफ ऑर्डर्स ओके देयर ऑर्डर डेट कस्टमर आईडी एंड सेल्स पर्सन आईडी एंड आल्सो अमाउंट ऑफ दैट ऑर्डर so one sales person can have multiple orders right so for example sales person id 2 they have two orders let's say lic lic in, in news nowadays because of ipo let's say lic the lic has sales person id 2 this person has sold two lic right similarly this sales person has sold three lic's right so i need to find for each person what is the highest order amount lic they have sold so For eight and one, there is only one record, so we need that only in output. Now for two and seven, if you see, the highest amount is twenty four hundred, so we need this row. Again for seven, highest amount is seven twenty, so we need this row, right? Full row. So this is the question. Now you will say this is easy. We will just do a get a rank partition by sales person ID, order by amount descending, and get the rank one. but there is one restriction the restriction is you cannot use sub query you cannot use ct you cannot use window functions you cannot use time table now after all these limitations this query becomes challenging what i will do i will put in the description box insert and ddl do try yourself i encourage you to spend some time and try out without all this and let me know if you are able to solve it and then you can come back and see my solution you will be just amazed how 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 we can work with sql Okay, so let me start with my solution. So what I'm going to do? Let's do this. So we cannot do all this, but what we can do now? Now, to so we have to compare for each salesperson order amount with his other orders, right? So this order amount I have to compare with this one, right? Similarly, for this one, this order amount I have to compare with this one. When I'm looking at this row, I have to compare it with other two rows. So basically. I need to do cell join. I don't have any other option. Let me show you both the tables together. So whenever you have to do cell join, just run those two tables together and see the output, and then it will make more sense. So now what I will do? I will join these two tables on sales person ID because for each individual sales person only I have to compare orders, right? Which is the more order amount. So for this sales person ID one, when I join, these two will be joined. right and i can check if this amount is greater than or equal to the this amount so yeah it will come straight away now for this when i am on second row so we are on second row now so database is on second row is it will join this row with these two rows right because i am doing a join on sales person id so when i am joining this order number 10 with these two order order number 10 and 40 i will check if this amount is greater than or equal to maximum of these two amount right then it will say no 540 is not greater than or equal to maximum of these two though the maximum of these two though for the sales person id these are the two those is 2400 so this row will not qualify now when database comes to this row right two it will again join with these two and i will check if this amount is greater than or equal to max of these two max greater than or equal to So it will say yes. So this row will qualify. Similarly, we will do for seven, right? We will go one by one to each row, and again eight. So this is how I have to do. So I have to first do a cell join, which means. So let me do it quickly. Let me name it as A, and then left join B. And on A dot sales person ID equal to B dot sales person ID, right? now let me select few columns to make you understand i can write query directly but i want to go step by step so that it is clear b dot a dot star so a is my first table and i am taking b dot order number i am just taking order number and b dot order amount the amount okay and let's see what happens so now you see just focus here So for sales person ID one, there is only one order, so we don't have to worry about it, right? 
order number 30 order number 30 i will just compare if this order amount is greater or equal to this order amount and this will qualify so nothing to worry about this guy salesperson id 2 now i said so order number 10 is joined with order number 10 and 40 right both the rows in right table now i can group on these columns okay and i i can check if amount is greater or equal to max amount of these two right so these row will not be returned right similarly when i'm here i will do group by on this order number 40 again order number 40 joined with both 10 and 40 because both were by salesperson id 2 right so i will check if order amount is greater than or equal to max of these two rows so it will say yes it is equal so it will give me this row and it will not give me this row so how, how i will do it simple i will say having having a dot a dot amount Right, greater than or equal to b dot max of b dot amount right before that i have to obviously do group by right so group by i have to do on all the columns from a table so these all are same for this row so i can take all these columns right so i will take a dot all from b i cannot take anything because i am doing aggregation right i have to check maximum of b dot amount so i will just remove it i will say a dot order number comma a dot order date comma a dot cust id comma a dot salesperson id comma a dot amount i can take all of this right and I need to take this in group by as well. Order number. Right. I am doing group by on all these columns. These columns you are seeing, right? And then taking max of B dot amount. So when I group these two rows, max amount will come 2400. And I am checking it should be greater or equal to this. So this row, these two rows will qualify. And since I am doing group by, duplicates will go away right so let's see what is the answer so we have two rows let's verify the answer quickly and close this video so i'll just uh, do select star so that we can verify select star from this this is my input and this is my output let's see if we have got right output so for example for salesperson id 2 the order amount uh, uh, bigger values 2400 so we got 2400 similarly for 7 we got 720 for 7 we got 720 i hope this was clear very important concept of cell join if you are confused in cell join try solving this question really awesome question it is simple if we have to use window functions but yeah i just love this question and the answer as well so yeah like the video if you learned something new today and subscribe to the channel thanks for watching have a good day